So, um, yeah, we, we found ourselves, you know, touch and go initially, you know, not sure how this relationship or what plans, was it big market days or fundraising days? It wasn't about that, about the money. What we got was much more worth, uh, of more value, priceless, so to say, in that I got the support that I needed, but to the benefit of my entire staff. So we have such a, a healthier relationship now. My door is open, like I said to you earlier, not only for the learners, the teachers pop in here regularly, then we close so that we can have a private conversation before people would do a U-turn before coming in here. And, and so our channels of communication are open. We come together here to strategize regularly. We then go out with an idea of who to approach, how to approach it. And it's not my idea only. It's a collective, all of us did it together. I'd say before I was more of a technicist. <laughs> so because of what I needed to, to do, I was more focused on getting the systems and structures in place at Cornflower. But I forgot about the human element. I forgot to, how to relate to others, how to connect with, with the staff. Um, not that I didn't know how, but I had assumed this role as principal. And I needed to just make things right. I couldn't do it on my own. So I'd, I'd say I'm, I'm more of a um, collaborative leader now, more of, of a como sit sam, and we, we solve this problem together, as opposed to what I did before. Don't worry, I'll solve it. That, that's what I used to do. So the, these are the systemic results. It's low. This is my plan, and this is how we're going to implement it. And so after PFP, working together, connecting more, making more time um, for us as a school management team to meet, for us as staff to meet. And so what have you got to say? You know, opening the floor to further discussions. Like I said, the round tables that we have, that really gives me a lot of insight. It, it's really my time to, to have my ear on the ground. Um, you know, and, and hearing what, what the concerns of the staff. And sometimes it's little things, but for them, in that classroom where that window is broken and no one's coming to attend to it right now, it's a pain, because that's maybe where you sit and mark. So no one understands the irritation. And so we have that lack of platform now. Because Paul had individual meetings with them too. Paul started, yeah. And so he didn't just isolate and only see to me. He, he had an opportunity to listen to them. And so when he would meet with me and discuss things, he was speaking from a, a well-informed base. Because this is what other people are saying about you, or, or you know, the ideas about how you're approaching things. And, and so his strategies on supporting me was well-informed. Um, and that's what made the difference. And the leader that I used to be was very clinical, overly focused um, and driven by results. The leader that I have become after working through PFP and Paul Stark, working with Paul Stark is one that is more understanding, compassionate, um, more loving also, um, and not that I am not focused on achieving those results, but as a byproduct, because of my change in my nature, of how I approach people, any challenge even, those just will sort themselves out, I found.